Welcome back to Best Man Made. She got Mac. I got my guy, Kenny B, right here, Kenny Burns, in the house. Yes, sir. Mike, look, this right here, y'all don't understand. The lifestyle specialist, anybody and everybody who's been in, whether it be hip hop, RB, whatever. Pop culture. Pop culture. They all know and love and appreciate KB. And I love them back. Dude, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm love actually. Back. I no, look, I'm, no, look, look, y'all don't know. I'm excited. I'm so excited right now. This is a surreal moment. But I mean, we got some stuff to talk about and some good drink to have. Yes. We're gonna talk about how to become legend. Is that good? Absolutely correct. Let's do that. We're gonna do it. Roll it. Let's go and pour some up real Let's fast, do it. man. Let's do you it. had a busy day today, though, didn't you? Yeah, man. We had to go speak uh, to the masses today. Yeah? Yeah, the dream is real. The dream? The dream is real. Good God. Man, that's a that's a that's a good pour. Yeah, that's, that's a good. hell of a pour. Don't, don't, don't pour me don't that. Do that to you. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that to me. All right. I'm gonna what? give you. I'm gonna give you about a. It's about an ounce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll take that. Some I can. Now we're gonna do this first. We got to do a proper cheer. Yeah, let's do it. You know, so let's do uh, the first one. Has always got to be to the Gipper. Okay. Gipper's my dad. He used to, you know, he's always, you know, this was his thing. He'd always salute to the Gipper. That's so it. So we're doing the first one to the Gipper. That's right. All right. Take a sip on that. The second one. Damn, that's good, isn't it? That's smooth. Hundred proof. Mm. You never taste hundred proof. That's smooth in your life. Okay, we talk about legend. I'm Mac is legend. You the legend. I try. Kenny B is the legend. I try. You've, you've been with all these people that are legends out there. What is it that you gotta have? Let's, let's just kick to the people a couple of different little, you know, ones and twos about yeah. what could be what is it to become a legend. I think you have to be authentically yourself. Okay. Um, you know. Much like the story of Nathan of Premier's Green, you have to be known for something. You have to have had someone evangelize your contribution. Nice. Talk about you more than you talk about yourself. Um, and that truly makes you a legend. I mean, we live in this land of social media and it's a cheat sheet. It's a cheat code. There you go. And it's true and it's okay. And it works for, for, for millions of people in business. Yes. Um, but to be a true legend, you have to let someone else speak for you. So, so is it like your so your work and your worth and your name should be bigger than well, it's it, it it comes before you. In your contribution sense. should be what people talk about, right? Okay, okay. It should be a laundry list of things that you've provided uh, someone, provided the culture, That's provided uh, an industry. Yeah. Um, a lot of people get caught up in the hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the yeah, hype yeah. is real. Right. Just like the legend is real. Right. Right? Come on. But at the same time, I think that, you know, people cheat themselves when you don't actually do the work. Yes. You know, much like, much like uh, Uncle Nearest. I mean, he put in that work. He taught Jack Daniels how to steal. He taught many people how to steal. And there were hundreds, if not thousands, right, of right. masters and stillers around that era. Right? And they were legend because of what people heard. They mm -hmm. heard about the charcoal melanin process yeah. and these other things that made them unique and special, which is a lost art. So that's a, that's a good point you put out there. So speaking of even like with, with Nathan Green, the big thing about it is he didn't get, at least nationally, he didn't get that type of uh, credit for being legendary in what he did. And now we're just now found, you know, was able to bring out, you know, this, 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 this brand, this amazing premium whiskey and give him that kind of credit. But what about those that don't get the credit at the time? I mean, Man. you know what I'm saying? But I think this is a representation of everyone who didn't get the credit. Right, right. Everyone right. who has- You've actually said that in your post. Yeah, time, yeah, right? people that haven't, you know, gotten the credit for jobs they've done, yes. gotten to do their due. Yes. Um, you know, or even gotten the opportunity from the work they put in. And I think this is a representation, this brand yes. is a representation for all of those people, right? Because. It's true. How many people have you worked for in your life and didn't get the credit, get, oh didn't get the job, the raise, the whatever that you really deserve? Absolutely. Um, you know, but that's 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 the beauty about what what Fawn and Keith have done with yeah. uh, with Uncle Nears because when you think about it, it's reparations on a lot of levels. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you can't Come go on, back. Can. Yeah. You can't go back and pay him. Right, right, but right. You can put his descendants through college. That's right. You can't go back and pay him. I don't know if they know that right there. I mean, yeah. you know. Uh, the whole thing, it really, look, we really are, seem like we really are just pitching this, but I mean, the thing it's, is, it's symbolic it's, to the story. No, it is. And like I was saying, like, you know, you can't go back and pay him, but you can buy him. 
right. the land he was a slave on. Exactly. And make, right, you can go take the colored cemetery and beautify it. Right. And put, you know, and that's, that's the spirit of legend in general. You know, when right. you're talking about becoming a legend. Yes. It's not about, you know, putting yourself out there as much as it's about being forthright and authentic to a time, to a period, to Ooh, something that's authentically authentic. you. Yeah, because yeah. if you're not authentically you, right. you can't be a legend because right. you're a false prophet. Right. You know, and that mirror comes. Yeah, oh yeah. And when you wake up in the I morning, like you, you got to deal with that. Yeah, that mirror. mirror's coming. Oh, it's coming. Well, see, that's one thing I also want to say about becoming a legend. I mean, not to jump on another one that you might have, but I was going to say, I also think that style plays its role in that. Oh, yeah. You know, presentation style, everything. the look, presentation, everything. I mean, you even come up in here, man, I'm trying to tell you, brother, everything is always put together, and you I, know I that. Try, I try. Yeah. And I, and I, and I literally, you know, it, it's, it's more effortless to me um, because that's the way I was raised. Mm -hmm. My father was a cold dresser. My mother mm -hmm. was not, you know, mm -hmm. and my mother was there. My you father was not. see that DC right there? He was yeah. a cold dresser. Yeah, he I love cold. that. He was yeah. cold. He was yeah. thorough. Right, right, right. I like you that. You know that word. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, but, you know, it's, it's something <laughs> innate in me, yeah. right? Um, but I truly believe presentation is everything, and that's a lost art as well. And that's why, and I, I keep going back to Uncle Nearest because, you know, having done what I've done in the spirits industry, creating influencer programs and taking brands from, you know, zero to hero. Yeah, um, absolutely. You know, this was an opportunity, one, to have ownership, but then two, to, to, to fulfill my destiny. My yeah. destiny was not to keep making money for everybody else. Right, my destiny right. was not to leave, not have a legacy for my children. Right. Right? Right. And that's why I say reparations, you know, on a lot of levels. Because yeah, yeah. I've done a lot for a lot of people and oh, didn't absolutely. get my due, but... Um, I'm ready to give yeah. him his due. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. No, no, let me no, no. Hold on. But, but due is, 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 a, is, a, is a perception. Okay. Right, because I'm whole in my family life, in my, in my real life. Married 19 years in October, two amazing kids, uh, you know, mentees for days. Yeah, yeah. Right, free game. Right. Free game. I'm out here giving free game. I just was giving free game around the corner. We yeah, yeah, game. absolutely. And I'm sitting back like thing. taking notes. Yeah. But well, let me, well, let me say this real quick, because I mean, I, I do want to address this a little bit. And I, we spoke about that for a hot second. I saw Kenny be back in Vegas. Over a decade this ago. This is amazing. No cap. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know how we do. No cap. This is <laughs> Cheers to you, brother. Cheers, brother. Right, sorry, Absolutely. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. But I'm going to tell you. Mm. Mm. Got to get that in. Yeah. I'm going to tell you. Over 10 years ago or so around that time, I saw Kenny Burns in, in Vegas. I'm going to be quick about that. But I saw what he was doing. I saw he was with the crowd, working the people. You know what I'm saying? You were hosting a poker event. Okay. I believe it was like a... Black Poker Stars Invitational on BET. That Hilarious. was the joint. That Hilarious. was the joint though, I'm telling you. These guys are walking around with tens of thousands of dollars in their pocket, and they're ready to get it on. You look like you're sweating, cuz. Okay, yeah, that's more better. That's, more better. that's a lot of money. It felt like 10,000. I'm sitting back and I'm like, man, this guy's swagging. You know, to be honest with you, not many brothers swag, I'm like, they got something going, but Appreciate you had it. And it was Appreciate visible, and it was, it was, you can feel it. So I sat back and I said, you know, whatever this guy's doing, I got to figure it out. I go back home, I look you up, lifestyle specialist, read up on it, get, get all involved. Uh, and then I just became a fan. And I'm going to tell you what, it got to the point that I almost got a little, I got a little nervous. I had to stop looking so much because I didn't want to emulate it. Yeah. But, I, <laughs> but listen, but the, beauty, you know the beauty about you and other creators, yeah. man, it's like, you have to have muses. You have yes. to have people that are doing what you aspire to do. Right? Yes, yes. And I had a lot of, you know, and you know, a lot of them didn't measure up to what I thought they were, okay. but I measured up to what I wanted to be. Yeah. So that's the part that makes you fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I appreciate that, man, and I that's hope real. that you know that's it's real. lived up to the expectations. Oh, brother, yeah. then in some. Appreciate. Is there anything else that you could think of when it comes to become a legend? Yeah. You know, that might pop off real quick. Man, most legends work harder than everybody else. Oh, man. You know, a, a key phrase, um, a, a, a key antidote, a key ism that I often share is never let your expectations exceed your efforts. Mm. And I think that we expect a lot. We yeah. want a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of things we say, yeah. but don't work to get. get. Yeah. You know, so your effort has to be there, man. And I think that's the disconnect with social media because yes. you can put something up and depending on the likes mm. it's popular but it might not be no quality it might not be any you know that's premium what I, anything that's what I, with there that. you go you know speaking what I mean? of premium yeah i mean but that's the whole thing you're right like 
let's just say you you know when you sipping on some BS, yeah, right? And you 100%. know you got something real. 100%. It's the same thing when you know when you when you you know when you talking to somebody and you can vibe and say, okay, they got value, they got worth. Right. I'm trying to tell people right now. A lot of y'all out there saying, I want to do video, I want to do photo, I want to do all these different things. I want to come up, you know, in the branding. But if you're not giving that quality, because I mean, even in the YouTube world. There's people that put out a video every day, Probably every too. other day. Yeah. Don't mean it's great. It ain't right. Oh, exactly. Let's just be real. Let's be real. Yeah. More times than likely, it's not gonna be great. You can't produce on that level such quality works. It takes time to, to develop. 100%. So develop. Speaking of which, because you're in the music industry and everything, you've been, you've, you've worked people in the music industry. Development nowadays. Yeah. I know we said to my legend, but you work with legends. Yes. Uh, you still work with legends. You're around legends. There's people, I mean, I'm not gonna get into saying like who I think right now, but there's less development. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? so like it's a lost art, you know, artist development in particular to to uh, the music business. Yes. Um, there's not a lot of development. There's not a lot of taking time to help them find themselves. Right. And that's where you find these one hit wonders, these SoundCloud, you know, uh, stars. Yes. Um, but you know, we gotta take that back. Right. And it starts with, not taking anything or saying they're not creative or saying that they don't belong because they do. There's a couple that are out there that aren't worthy to mention because they won't be around long, but at the same time, you can't ignore any of it. What you have to do is put your, your touch. Right. Oh, okay, little bro, but let me tell you what happened. You know, because all you can teach people is what you know. Yeah, right? absolutely. Your children, you absolutely. can't. You're, not, you're gonna learn more from your children than you will teach them because okay, what you know is their access is that's right. Our access was yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Right. So our life lessons are what helps them, okay, okay. and what will teach them. Right. But their experiences will teach us as well. So we can't, you know. So on one end, yes, they need monitors. Yeah, we need monitor. We need monitors you out there. Got to monitor, right? Right. right. No, that's, that's the true. monitor society. That's right, right, right. Culture, right, right, right. culture has, like. You think about when we were coming up, Come on, Black Medallion. Yeah. You had a sense of pride of uh, what we didn't know yeah. to be our legacy in history. That's right. You, ha yeah, you, you have to. Yeah. Public Enemy. Fear yeah. of a Black Planet. Ooh. You see a Black Planet. Now you see the browning of the world, and yeah. it's not from a racial perspective. Right. I mean, think about the interracial game right now. Okay. okay. Everybody is mixed in some kind of way, shape, oh. or form. Oh, there we go. Come right? on, KJ. So anyway, okay. but I, it's deeper. No, than no, no. That's but a whole that, other no, that's, show. A, that's a that's a good. That's a whole a, other show. Yeah. You know, I just think that you know, legacy has its privileges. Yes. I think that when you talk about becoming a legend, you got to really do the research. You just mm. can't take what people say for face like value. Right. What What is history? People right. come and go. Every day, I was just talking about it, uh, the Fashion Mom Daily event with Claire Summers. At the end of the day, you're the flavor of the week, year, month. Yeah, it's that's not, it. It's not an ongoing yeah, thing. Right, so what right. are you going to leave that outlives you? Right. Well, that's why I say, how many different brands right now? You, I talked to, my, I talked to the people one time, we were talking about Puma, Puma's history and Adidas history. Right. And how that was wrapped up in the whole Nazi Germany type of thing. Wow, wow, we right. talked about that. Yeah, that was crazy, man. We talked about that for a second. But that's what I said. Very rarely do you find a brand that is authentically American. Like that Brit that's that's about a unity, a story of unity and friendship. I know, I know and America is not Christopher Columbus finding yeah, come on. Yeah. somebody else's land. Right, right, right. America is what we've built over the last couple hundred, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Years. I'm talking about, you know, togetherness, you know, um, the bonds. I mean, if you, if you, you can equate it to sports. If you look at like what goes on in sports, it's colorless. Yeah. Although the NFL, we have our issues with Colin Kaepernick, the whole thing. But like, if you look at the majority, yeah. it's not Donald Trump. Right. And I'll use Donald Trump as the uneven comparison because he's <laughs> not. You right, know what I'm right. No, at the I'm same time, it's not the majority is not that. The majority are the ones who go out and vote. The majority is the wealth in America. That's the majority is not the. Those people, like the majority of America doesn't think like a racist. Yeah, they they don't. don't. Right. Absolutely not. They don't. And that's the thing, but I think that if you look at things a certain way, this is where we go back to the I love this the conversation, social media. By the way. Oh man, we're getting into it, brother. Look. I'm Chris, Chris holding the camera, man. You still good, boss? Yeah, all right. Well, if you get a little shaky, Chris has so, I'm not phased. Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah, he's like a he's like a tripod right yeah. now. But I mean the whole thing about it is if you look at this story, it embraces all that is good that we want to say stands for America. Yeah. And I think that uh, that's why I get involved. We, look, I, we, we taking photos, we do a lot of video, we talking about Uncle Nears. But the thing is, we want y'all to understand, this is something that we're very excited about, no yes. doubt. But it also is a, a, a concept, it is a brand that is embracing a legend. And rooted in legacy. Yeah, It's absolutely. rooted in, um, 
you know, this story that has never been told. You know, right. from from you know the fact that you know a lot of ignorant people will say all the time, "Oh, Jack Daniels is racist. He was uh, such and such uh, slave owner. He was not." Not at all. Or just like you would hear that now Jack Daniels is you know honoring Nearest Green, Uncle Nearest Green, um, you know, as their first master distiller. So you gotta right. You know, that's, that's right. That goes back to like listening to what people say in actual facts. Right. If you listen to everything Donald Trump says and you don't fact check, Give you could get facts. caught up in the sauce. But yes. I need facts. I, I don't facts. believe you. I need more people. Come on. I heard that in a famous rap song at some point <laughs> in my life. I don't believe one, you. I need more people. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, I think, honestly, man, I think it's, it's, it's that, I think if we were to say another element of becoming a legend, you got to have a little bit of rebellion. Do you, do you need a little bit more of a, oh, a man. rebellious spirit listen, to listen. do that? Never walk to Brooklyn for cheesecake unless you're getting a slice. Good. I don't believe in shortchanging someone, Talk to making me. people mm -hmm. sacrifice their integrity for gain. Like I don't, that's Ooh. not, that's not something that is authentic. Yes. That is something forced. And when you're forced, you have problems with the mirror. I keep going back to the mirror. And I tell you that because most celebrities um, that I've encountered mm -hmm. are characters. Right, okay. Right? They, that's they, unfortunate, really? Though? No, but they create themselves. Right. So imagine you gotta create yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. okay. Imagine you put this whole thing together and you present it. And then it's like, oh shit, it caught on. Right. So, so you, you have, have to, to be that, that person. Right, 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 right. right. So the sense. higher you right. achieve status, right. celebrity. Well, that's gotta be hard to keep like. Oh, it's keep painful. That but yeah. then they come to drugs and all the things oh, we read about right. with people to force that aren't themselves right. from the beginning. Right. That, so that authenticity within becoming a legend, like you said, going back, the, most important the authenticity key. is key. Yeah. And I think that going, also saying what we're saying now, whenever you're trying to, we talked about development a little yeah. bit, but that's the whole thing. When, you, when, you, when you're coming out and you're saying, I am uh, a certain type of, of certain type of way, you're presenting a package. If it ain't true, if it ain't real. Somebody gonna read through it. The majority will read through it. Right. Listen, I always give this analogy. 90% of the world are the consumers. Mm -hmm. They are they are who consumes the products. Right. 10% are the creators. Okay. 8% of those creators don't really get it off like they want to, so they get too caught up in overthinking. Uh, the ones that just go, yeah. the ones that mash the gas, Woo. are the ones that become legends. He just gave you, look, he just dropped straight up dimes on y'all. These are, these are diamonds of, in, of information right now. Yeah. I'm going to tell you one thing, brother. I don't know about you. This is feeling great on me. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually warmed up. This is right. I need a cigar like, right now. Yeah, look, we can. Dre the Mayor, we got some Cubans in the bag. Dre, what's going on? What's up? What's good, bro? You got it? You going to pop out with it? Yeah. He it. He's just cool with yeah, it. Yeah, cool. too cool for school. That's my guy. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what. This, this, this is exactly what we're going for with Becoming Legend. I can't think of nobody better to have this kind of conversation. I with. appreciate it, man. And, no, you know, no, brother. Let's, yeah, let's, and at the end of the day, best. Mac, I think, you know, when you continue to inspire others to, yes. you know, lock into the message that you're, uh, that you're putting out there, yes. you know, hold them to it. We'll hold do. them accountable. Hold we'll them do. accountable. And, you know, as you go, man, listen, you're going to learn as much as you teach. Yeah. But the key is to know what you're talking about. Can you hear that? The truth. Is the motherfucking truth. Good God. I had to curse for inflection. That's the thing though. I think you you hit you nailed on some, some, some really good points. I think a lot of people, you know, they think that become a legend is something simple, it's something that I can get and you know, by the time I'm 20, sometimes before I'm 30. People are in a very in a rush for some odd reason. Yeah. Uh, and that's a, that's an unfortunate uh, you know, thing. It's unfortunate and life is a body of work. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can do tomorrow that's gonna make a significant difference as to what you'll do by the time you're done. It's not those days, those months, those years are gonna be well worth every experience. Because without the heartache, yes. without the disappointment, you won't appreciate the wins. Absolutely. And he's just giving you stuff off top of the dome. We ain't writing nothing down. We having these drinks yeah. right here, me and Kenny B. Yes, I'ma tell you what, y'all already know, boys are born. And men are made. We'll see y'all next time. Cheers. Yeah.